What's up, Comics Versers? You're here at C2E2. I'm Mark Hassenfrotz, and joining me today is Ben Templesmith, artist behind 30 Days of Night. When did you first know you were going to make art? Art chooses you, you don't choose it. I've been drawing since I was four. There's no easy answer to that. It's no conscious decision, really. Mm -hmm. It just comes from within. So a lot of artists have been, with all of the technology present, a lot of people have been uh, transitioning to more digital work. And how do you feel about that? Do you prefer old school work or have you been doing more digital because that's what the technological trend is? Do you mean like working on computer or like putting things out digitally? Um, working on a computer, I would say. No, I'm old school. I, I was one of the first people that started using the computer. Mm -hmm. Like the first generation wave after Dave McKean kind of broke it open using Photoshop with Sandman covers and stuff, which was like, oh, you can put a cross on a skull and morph it in and weird stuff, right? But I never progressed from there. I still use a mouse. And I do everything by hand, and I'm doing that more and more now. So I'm going backwards because I like real things. Okay, and so recently your uh, new company, 44 Flood, has uh, opened up. And so I was wondering if you could talk to us a little bit about that and what your goal is with that company. Well, it's kind of had like two openings. We started it uh, four years ago, I think. But uh, it's had a rebirth recently because some people have left and it's like under new management now. And now we're really getting down to our core, what we want to do, which is make books. And we kind of want to do books that regular publishers won't touch because they're not financially viable necessarily. We do a lot of crowdfunding and a lot of just big fancy things. And I like to make artifacts, so that's why I want to do it. And also to respect the creators that do it. What are some things that you wish you would have known getting into comics and breaking into the industry? That is a very, very long list of things. <laughs> I think the question I, the answer I gave you last time was uh, uh, learn what reversion rights are when you sign a contract for a publisher. It means you get your rights back once it goes out of print and the publisher doesn't do anything with it. It means you own it all again and can take it elsewhere if you want to do that. Interesting. Um, so it's, it's bus That's business boring things, but that's one of the things you want to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that'll be very helpful for if anyone wants to break into comics here. And so, uh, recently you've done a digital run of Batman um, for DC. So, what, what was it like working exclusively digital? I believe the book came out in print eventually, but like, being such an old school... It did, because I told you that. It did, yes. Um, be, being such an old school guy, what did it feel like doing uh, a book that was going to be digital when it came out originally? I love that you call me an old school guy and I have a really brutal, honest answer to that. Okay, so I did it the way I normally do a book and the fact that it digitally came out first or like they knew it was going to go to print later because the way they structured the pages were just half pages that they could then put together as regular comic pages for print they wanted. It was like the money was good. So it was a lot of fun and I didn't care how it did because they paid me. It wasn't my own work. So I normally I only make money if my own work sells. Mm -hmm. But with DC or with like doing Batman, it's not about me. I just do my job. They pay me, and then they do what they want with it. So I had no vested interest in how well it didn't or didn't do, but they weren't going to tell me how well it did or didn't do anyway. It was a, it was a work for hire job. So okay, it went well, and they put it out as a comic, and I did Batman. That's great. That's great. Um, so what do you think it is about your artwork that draws people to it, that puts people into trances like that man earlier? Uh, stupidity, drugs, alcohol. <laughs> I don't know. I just draw what I. I have fun, and I draw what I draw. And so, uh, I'm very lucky to have enough people dig what I do to, to buy it, really. So is there anything new and exciting you're working on right now you'd like to tell the people at home? Yes. What is that? I'm doing this thing called Black Holers. It's a webcomic, uh, and it's also on Patreon. I use Patreon now. So I show people the whole process of making a comic from beginning to end. Uh, and then, I'm, then I print it myself and put it out. So it's my new project, ongoing project. So it's, it's about space pirates and revenge and tentacles. What more could you want? All, right. all the crap I normally do. <laughs> okay, so that's all the time we have for, the, for today. Thank you again for your time. And Comicsversers, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also check us out at Comicsverse.com for more in-depth com comics analysis and theory. And I have had a great time talking to you, Ben, and see you next time.